See, most people have needs in their life, and one of their number one needs, the most common need, is finances. True? Because if the devil can hold you down in one area well, consistently, it's going to be in your finances. Because if he can lock you down in your finances, you won't lift your head in faith for healing. You won't lift your head in faith for salvation because you're too busy trying to pay your bills. So why would the devil go after your finances? Why do we need to talk about finances? Because finances actually bring freedom to those that love God in a pure heart. And when those that love God in a pure heart actually have freedom, the kingdom has power. So we're not talking about greed. We're not talking about trying to talk you into having, you know, a bunch of Christians that own red Lamborghinis and live up on the hill and and go on, you know, six-week vacations every six weeks. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people that actually are sons and daughters of God that understand that the devil has tried to contain people, he's tried to imprison people, and he tries to keep people uh, busy in fear trying to fix their problems so they'll never work the kingdom. So you have a right to be free in your finances. Amen? It's one of the reasons, not the only reason, but it's one of the reasons God instituted giving. Because giving is a key on that big keychain that Jesus handed to his disciples. See, God so loved the world that he gave. The most powerful thing that's ever happened in your life is that God gave. The most powerful thing. Well, don't talk about giving to me. Well, okay, let's, let's just go and scratch John 3.16 out of the Bible. Let's just go take that out of the Bible because actually maybe that doesn't matter anymore for you. What matters for me? Because if God didn't give to me, then God wouldn't be reaping a harvest of my life. And he wouldn't be reaping a harvest of your life and potentially every other life on the earth if we'll get busy. Come on, somebody.